Hello, my name is Eric Dahl, loader product specialist for Bobcat Company. Today I'll be talking about some of the feature improvements that we made with our new undercarriage on our compact track loaders. Now these changes will affect the T550 all the way up to our T770. Uh, most of the changes are common across all, all models in that range. So first off, uh, it's really our first, uh, it's our major, or our biggest change or improvement to our track undercarriage since we launched our CTLs uh, almost 15 years ago. So with that, the first change is we opened up our undercarriage. Uh, as you can see, it's a more open design. Uh, allows you to shed debris better. Any debris that does build up, you'll be able to get a shovel in there easier for clean out. Along with that, we changed our front idler to a, to a dual flange front idler versus a single flange. So now you're, the idler is riding on the rubber of the track versus the steel. It reduces vibration and gives the operator a, a smoother, more comfortable ride. Along with that, uh, with these changes to the structure, it allowed us to, to go to a larger fuel tank. Uh, on some of our models, up to a 60% increase in fuel capacity. Uh, on the T770, particularly, it's a 44-gallon tank. Uh, so our customers will be able to get at least an eight-hour day uh, of runtime on a single tank of fuel, which I think is important to, to many of our customers. Uh, in addition to that, we're looking at increased ground clearance up to 27% on some of our track loaders at the center of the machine, which is important for any guys that are working around stumps or any type of obstacles that could potentially get hung up. Uh, we're in muddy conditions uh, so you're not as likely to get hung up on, on the mud if you're leaving ruts and, and different tracks like that. Uh, another improvement to the backside is with the ground clearance we increase the the length of or the height from the ground to the top of the track carriage uh, so you're less likely to get hung up on those stumps again as well as curbs or anything uh, it just gives you a little bit more clearance when traveling over uh, rough terrain the last feature improvement we made with this machine uh, well particularly the 500s the t550 the t590 was we went or we allow for the customer to switch from narrow to wide tracks or wide tracks to narrow without any additional spacer kits. Previously on the T550 and T590 you needed a spacer kit to go from narrow to wide. You no longer have to do that. Uh, six and seven hundreds you could always switch from narrow to wide or wide to narrow without it but you, that wasn't the case on the 500s until now. Uh, lastly I guess would be we didn't sacrifice any of our uptime protection to the dry motor hoses. Some manufacturers leave those more exposed to rebar or other debris. Ours are well protected still with covers and, and shields.